Hey, hey, Crips here, and yet again, thanks for watching me today. Okay, um, I had a viewer who's been pestering me. <laughs> yes, I'm using the word pestering. He's been asking me uh, how to do type on text, uh, and I thought, all right, you know what, I'm going to do it for you. I will show you how to do the type on text effect, and it's very simple done with the Boris Graffiti filter. So I'm using uh, Corel Video Studio 6, so this is the latest filter which is 6.1 it doesn't really matter if you're using 4 or 5 it'll do the exact same thing uh, 6 does have a really cool feature and if I have time I'll show you what the new feature is with 6.1 but other than that there it's uh, it's the same all right let's get moving let's do the type on text all right first off tip number one uh, if I have this toggled on which is the auto animate anything I do to my footage uh, it automatically will place a keyframe and then adjust it accordingly. And that can be annoying because maybe I'll just move something to see how it looks and then move it back. But it's really created a keyframe for that. So it will go to that position and then it moves back. And I didn't want that. I, just, I was just playing around to see the look. So me, I turn it off because it just annoys the hell out of me. I would advise you probably to do the same. All right, let's do... Um, Let's do uh, hello everybody because in the beginning of this video clip I say hello everybody because this was a clip for another video I was doing and then ah, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in hello everybody. Hello everybody. Yeah, I know I spelled it with a U because I know it's spelled with two Ys. Come on. All right, update. Now, so here it is. So first of all, it's right in the smack dab in the middle of the screen. I'm going to move it here. I've got my title safe area on as well. You can do the same here, title safe. Uh, and that just sort of makes it easy to make sure that your content is actually in your video. All right. And it should not be moving. Good. All right. So if I uh, have this highlighted, you'll see all these tabs here. These are all different things I can do to that text. But if I expand this, and also if you do this, it expands it as well. Now that's pretty cool. All right, if I expand this, I don't need this. Uh, by the way, just so you know, everything here is also here. This is just, I don't know, either a shortcut or it's the same. So you know what? Just work in this window. Forget all this unless you're real pedantic. Go into your face track. Now watch, all of my tabs changed. And one of the tabs is type on text. Well, 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 look at that. All right, so obviously I want this to type on as I speak. So in the beginning, I do not want this to be visible. But then I want it to be visible as it moves. So I'm gonna change the interpolation to ease in and ease out and it should then type on text. Look at that, how easy this stuff is, it's just, child's play all right i'm going to update this and i'll show you what happens is obviously i'm going to say hello everybody faster than it types hello everybody crips here and thank you man look at it we're only on h and he's already babbling on some other crap so let's go back customs filter advanced mode no and I, I don't know how to get it straight into the advanced mode i even contacted boris himself and he admitted that that was a feature you overlooked because if you use Adobe Premiere, it does go straight into advanced mode. All right, so go back into Hello Everybody. This is your text title track. All you need to do is just shorten the time. Let's say uh, here, and this is the effect here, so let's shorten that as well. And let's apply that and play it. Hello everybody, Crips here. And so there you go, that's how it's done. It's done so easy, it's child's play. If you want the word hell everybody to stay on after you said it, Lord knows why you want that, just change that again. Just change the, the timeline again to what you want. And that's just meaning expand that all the way up here. And that, my friends, is how you do the type on effect. Okay, while I have you here, I'll show you one of the new features of 6.1. It may not be much to most of you, but it is quite interesting to see anyway. Um, you've got a graph here, and if you expand this, you now can see what it is that your animation is doing, and you can change the way this looks. You can change the curvature and how it works. 
Now later on you can do some real intricate stuff and you want it perfect, you can go into graph mode and you can just really, really have a good play with here and, and actually use these toggles to get it exactly where you want. And for me, I find that a pretty cool feature. But for you, you're probably shrugging your shoulders and going, yeah, I'm never going to use it. All right, let's do something different. Let's do something else. Let's delete that track and get a new track. So again, uh, add a vector track. So voila. And see how it's a little circle, whatever. Uh, change that. So click on it once and go into 3D plane. And that gets you back to the original one that we had. I'm going to type in uh, Crips. And I'm going to update this. And I'm going to show you something cool. You've probably done this already. I'm not sure. But for, some, for those who haven't, you could have some fun with this. Go into Face. Because again, it'll change all the tabs. Face. And then go into Path. And if I now highlight this, make path track, watch what happens under face. Oh, I get a new text path. Click on that, and my cursor turns into a pen tool. And now I'm going to make a path over my head. And as you can see already, the words are following my path, which is going over my head. I'm going to go back to face. And then if I want to... Um, I can have uh, these words run across my head, like so. There is that. And I'll change probably to, I don't know, maybe linear might be a good one to work with. Uh, here we go. There it comes across. Da -da -da -da. Uh, probably need to go a little bit faster than that. But you can see... Uh, what it is I did very quickly, just having a little bit of fun here, you know, with my letters, you know, running across the top of my head. And Boris can do that and so much more. And as always, thanks for watching.